It's a good job he's cute. <laughs> Feeling personally victimised by that Buzzfeed article. I'm not giving up my skinny jeans. I've already done the boot cut thing. It ain't happening again. So I'm just editing a blog post. I just published one, just finished it. And I shut my laptop down and I'm sat here thinking, what is that noise? Like, what is that noise? And I realised Chris has got this obsession, since he found out it existed, um, of putting on relaxing music for Toby when he's in the kitchen on his own because we, because it's like lockdown and stuff. We've obviously both been here a lot. So I feel like it's good for him to kind of just be shut in the kitchen for a little while so we can just have time to himself, even though he just he loves being around people. But still, I don't know, I feel like it's probably good for him for when we do start going back out into the world again. I don't know. But Chris is just obsessed with this relaxing spa music. Can you hear it? Where are you? Are you there? Are you relaxed? Are you relaxed, sir? <laughs> She's obsessed with it. Obsessed. Let's see monkey. Let's see him. Thank you. What's happened to his legs and arms? <laughs> Poor monkey. <laughs> Alright team, welcome to another weekly vlog. If you're wondering why I'm uh, dressed super posh today, I'm actually doing another video <laughs> this week where Chris picks my outfits for the week and this is what we have today. It's, um, it's proving to be a very interesting experiment and do you know what? I feel absolutely bloody amazing today. I would have never have picked this dress. Anyway, if you want to see what else he's picking for the rest of the week, um, you can tune into that video when it goes live. I think it will probably be a couple of days after this. But um, yeah, I feel good today. I uh, put on some makeup and some lippy to match my uh, my lovely outfit. Do you know what? Wear the dress, life's too short. So I was going to make some cupcakes today. Um, I found an old recipe on the blog for beer battered maple bacon cupcakes, which sounds really weird, but I remember them being amazing. So I wanted to dig that recipe out, give it another go, maybe give it some tweaks um, and then sort of re it for the blog and possibly also a reel. I don't know, I'll see how I feel. Um, but we've run out of bacon, so we need to go to the shops when we do our shopping. We're trying to sort of just do once a week or once every other week, um, just one of us popping out and just sort of getting all the supplies that we need. Um, but bacon is definitely an essential, so that will 100% be on the list. And it's also pancake day next week, I think. So um, maybe we need to get some extra bacon and then make some of those lovely sourdough discard pancakes uh, with maple syrup and bacon and maybe some berries, whipped cream. Oh, I'm down for that. Is it possible to do pancakes for every meal of the day on pancake day? <laughs> maybe like some sweet ones for breakfast and then some savoury ones for dinner. We'll have to see. I wonder if Gusto's got any... Um, pancake recipes on the on the um menu for next week we'll see i'm pretty sure you can do savory pancakes can't you i'm sure i had loads of those in amsterdam delicious like little thin crepey things we'll see food has just become such an event in lockdown because there's bugger all else to do and um, we've actually got like a really posh meal coming on saturday this company that's actually in birmingham they offered to send us one of their um valentine's day meals uh so you basically it arrives and then you just reheat it and it's like restaurant quality food uh it's not just for valentine's day it's it's i think they do one once a month or something but i'll see what it's like when it turns up and if it's any good i'll let you know leave the details down below um, and we've also ordered a little afternoon tea from um, Pretty Pots because they're doing like little takeaway afternoon tea packages so we thought we haven't supported them in a while apart from like the odd coffee on the uh, on the way to a dog walk because they're doing like takeaway tea and cakes and stuff still so we thought we'd order one of their afternoon teas and we're gonna have that on Sunday it's actually Valentine's Day I've not done it for Valentine's Day but just kind of has something to do really oh be blinded by I'm blinded by the light just something different to do I suppose so we've got a very food heavy weekend and I am here for it oh, it's a very sultry image this isn't it I feel like it could be on uh, one of the posy people instagrams <laughs> I'm rocking my millennial side parting today I read an article the other day I think it was on BuzzFeed um like the 17 things that millennials do that the Gen Zers really don't like um and they are side parting apparently they're no longer cool uh what else uh, concealer underneath your eyes Apparently the kids today are drawing on eye bags. 
Mine are all natural, sweetheart. Read them and weep. Apparently rose gold is no longer cool. Skinny jeans, our obsession with wine and avocado toast. Um, yeah, they basically just ripped into her. Feeling personally victimized by that Buzzfeed article. I'm not giving up my skinny jeans. I've already done the boot cut thing. It ain't happening again. Time to iron their bed sheets. I mean, we've got the time, but who actually does? Anybody iron? Do you iron your bed sheets? If Day from the sock shop. Oh, look. <laughs> Lobster shoe liners. Well, can't be a good pair of socks, can you? Is this how you know you're getting old? Oh my god, I love those. They're really soft. Why are they so soft? Bamboo. Look at those. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's cute. Very lucky today. Extra parcels. Oh, now this is a good one. This is interesting, actually. Um, this is something that's popped through my door for me to test out because I was approached by this company the other week, and uh, they are basically an at-home testing kit to um, sort of take a look at your reproductive health and see where you're at. They can also test for your ovarian reserves as well, which just absolutely blows my mind. Uh, I'm 32 years old now, 33 in May. Um, I was on the pill for the last 10 years. I've been off for nearly a year now, coming up to nine, 10 months, I can't remember. Um, and my periods are still sorting themselves out. I'm still getting new weird and wonderful symptoms from getting my cycle back after that time. So for sure, there is definitely like a little voice at the back of my head that's sort of saying, I hope everything's still working down there because I would love to have children one day if I was able to. It's not something that I take for granted. Um, I think it's that's a, a conversation in itself to have, isn't it? Um, but if, you know, Chris and I would love to start a family, not just yet, please nobody get excited. <laughs> Not just yet, but it's definitely sort of in the back of our minds, you know? Um, so yeah, there's obviously a little bit of nervousness from my side as to whether I will still be able to have children. I'm well aware that 32 is not um, old, but biologically speaking, you know, the body clock is ticking. So um, yeah, especially being on the pill for the last decade, it's something that's in my brain. So when this company got in touch and they sort of said, look, we can see that you're making waves in the um in the reproductive health and menstruation department we wondered if you wanted to try this out um i jumped at the chance to be perfectly honest because a it is some i've seen them knocking around on instagram and it's been sort of like in my brain because you can get these tests done on the nhs but there's a lot of criteria that you have to meet depending on uh, where you live in the country every sort of borough has different um uh hoops to jump through i suppose and things that, like things that you have to be before you can get the test. And of course, at the moment, their waiting list is pretty large because they've got quite a few other things going on. So um, yeah, it's definitely something that I've been thinking about low key doing like privately and sort of having a bit of a recce. And I know that there'll be lots of you guys out there who are also in the same boat because I get so many, so many messages. Um, from people who are in exactly the same position as me. And it's it's quite, it's, it's lovely actually. It's really nice and it's reassuring that I'm not alone <laughs> in thinking all these things. So um, yeah, I said, yes, I will, I'd love to give it a go. I think it's about 145 pounds to get these tests on, which to be fair, 
isn't as much as I thought it was going to be, but obviously it's still expensive. So yeah, I thought I'd give them a go, see what the process is like and whether I think it is worth the money. And if it is, um, I will report back and let you know. So yeah, I'm excited about that. I think I'm gonna have a sit down and have a real look at it later and figure out exactly what I need to do. I hope I don't mess it up. <laughs> and I think some of the tests you need to do like at various points in your cycle. So um, yeah, stay tuned. And if you'd like to know a little bit more about that, let me know. Because it's something that um, I'm personally really interested in. I just wanna know like if the pill has like what lasting effects it's kind of had on my body. I'm not saying it will have done. I'm not saying it has lasting effects for everybody, but you know, it's definitely something that's on my mind um, at the stage of life we're at now. So yeah, I'm intrigued. I shall report back and let you know how we get on. But I do just want to put a very firm boundary in place um, to say that I'm happy to sort of talk about these things and share these things, but we're not trying to start a family right now. So please, no like comments going, oh my God, are you pregnant? Or it's, we're not there yet. It's just something that's kind of, you know, at that kind of stage. So boundaries. <laughs> Very sensitive subjects, these things, aren't they, I suppose? Um, so, yeah. Boundaries, please. Thanks. <laughs> what do you think, Jumper Boy? Hmm? What do you think, Jumper Boy? <laughs> oh, it's a very nice belly. Very nice belly, thank you. Also, Chris has gone to do the shopping and I'm still in pyjamas because he's picking my outfits for the week and he hasn't left one out for me today. So I just have to bum around in my pyjamas for a little bit longer, which is uh, really not that bad. I'm happy to sit and do emails in my comfies. Um, but I've just seen Helen Anderson on Instagram do the boyfriend picks my outfits thing. I feel like it's coming, it's making a comeback. I'm, I'm here for this. Um, but anyway, her boyfriend has picked a really, really cool outfit. <laughs> And the other day, Chris completely forgot a bra. So I feel <laughs> I feel like we're gonna have two very different um, seven day outfit looks by the end of this. Uh, yeah, <laughs> bless him. I am however here for all of these old school YouTube uh, videos being brought back. I wonder if we could do like the boyfriend does my makeup thing or something next. I feel like he's probably traumatized enough by the fashion one. So maybe we might have to wait a while. <laughs> I'm loving it. People just bringing it back old school. Custards aren't a top tier level of cake. I just I flipping love them. Do you know what? I've never actually made egg custards. I might give them a go. Am I singing The Sims? I think I'm actually humming The Sims music. Morning team. I'm actually out of the house. Can you believe it? Um, we had to take Toby to the vets because he's got a little... Um, poorly rash on his tummy that seems to get worse every time we go on walks and stuff because he tears through the bushes and obviously gets himself all scratched up and stuff which is why we put his little coat on him but aside from getting some like full-on pajamas <laughs> we can't fully protect him so we think he's got like a little bacterial infection that just sort of keeps coming back every time he gets um gets a bit scratched and we've had some like shampoo and some creams and stuff to put on, on him in the shower every day after his walks um, and they seem to like heal it up a bit quicker but it, it keeps coming back so we thought right we can take him to the vet um and luckily they're still taking patients so yeah off he goes you have to go they have to come and collect them from the car and then they'll take them in and look at them and then bring them back but he's, he was just so scared when the lady took him and they're such lovely vets like we love our vets um, but obviously every time he goes to the vets he gets he gets a thermometer shoved up his bum or he gets his balls chopped off or <laughs> something traumatic happens. So I can understand why he's a bit nervous but yeah his tail was straight between his legs and she was leading him up the ramp and he was just looking back at me like mummy what are you doing to me? Oh it was horrible. Oh my god. Oh I felt like a monster. I just feel so bad but it's for the best. He's probably just going to need some antibiotics or something, which will no doubt be very expensive. Seems to cost me like 80 quid every time I come to the vets. Or like just under. Because <laughs> obviously he's insured. Very important. If you've got dogs, get them insured. Um, but I think my excess is about 80 quid. So no matter what it is, it always just seems to be in and around 80 pounds. 
I swear they do it on purpose. <laughs> and I hope he's okay. Bless him. He'll have to have a big tree after this. <laughs> Let's see. Now, duck leg or cow here? Yeah. Which one? Which one? You want that one? The big one? Which one? Which one? No, not this one. That one, you want that one? Okay. Here we go then. Not on the car, not on the rug. Not on the rug. £102.58. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. For a blooming rash on his tummy. Basically, they don't know what it is. Um, and they want to see him again next week. So they've given him some antibiotics. They've also given him um, some anti-itch tablets and stuff because he, he sort of licks he licks it, it a lot so to stop it from itching and we've changed over his um flea and tick stuff so he's on like a once monthly flea and tick stuff they've now given him something that's um once every three months but a lot stronger um and that was expensive in it so i think that was like 35 quid but we're normally paying 10 pounds a month so it kind of evens out we would have paid that anyway it just means we've got to pay all at once with this very large bill <laughs> And then of course it's like 35 quid just to see the vet. Um, so yeah, 102 pounds. Wow. It's a good job he's cute. <laughs> it just reminds me of that TikTok of the old lady where her cat keeps biting her. And she's like, it's only 70 quid to have you put down. <laughs> Bloody hell. Good job, we love you. How are you feeling, little invalid? Hmm? You feeling very sad? <laughs> I dribble all around your mouth from that treat. Oh dear. Ew, did you just burp at me? I don't care, do you? You want to take your tablets? Should we take your medicine? Get you all better? Hmm? <laughs> an old blog recipe today um for maple maple bacon cupcakes from if you ever watched the program two broke girls and i swear i'd done it back in the day but i just used my old recipe and they're not amazing like they've come out okay they're fine it's just the taste it's not as good as i remember them i think maybe my tastes have changed so yeah i think i might have to do a bit of experimenting with that recipe because it's actually really good it's like got a maple bacon it's got like a, a maple syrup buttercream and then um, you sort of um, candy bacon. So you get like streaky bacon, you put sugar on it and you candy it and it's like that whole sweet and salty thing. And then the cupcakes themselves are beer batter cupcakes. But it's just, it's just lacking in a bit of flavour. I think I think my palates have refined over the years. So I might have to give those another go next week and have a tweak around with the recipe. So um, yeah, I was hoping to, hoping to bring you a cool recipe this week, but nah, they're a bit of a fail. I'm pretty sure He's just eating around his medicine here. <laughs> if you have eaten everything but, that is ridiculous. He's just had his bath with his special shampoo. Yeah, that will be his medicine and his wormer that is carefully eaten around. <sighs> All right, <laughs> plan B. You're my lobster. They're my sock. No, they're mine. <laughs> they don't fit you. They don't go with you. With your slippers. No, they'd be a bit low for my slippers. <laughs> Should we get you some socks? Mm. It sounds delicious. Thank you. <laughs> Spent a hundred pounds on you earlier, and you won't even come and give me a cuddle. What is this? Off. What is this? Don't let me officially buy the coffees. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this looks yum. So our dinner for the night has just arrived. So this is from Cornerstone Kitchen. Um, hashtag gifted. <laughs> and it is a restaurant quality five course meal in a box. Um, and you just basically reheat it at home. I haven't opened it yet, so let me have a look inside. 
So this is their so this is their special Valentine's Day one, but they do them all the time. It's not just for Valentine's Day. Um, so this is what we've got. We have got uh, Jerusalem artichoke and truffle soup, cured salmon, beetroot, horseradish cream, pickle cucumber, and a rye crumb. Um, a fillet of beef. Oh, dolphin no dolphin nose potatoes. A fillet of beef. Dauphinoise potatoes, baby vegetables, peppercorn sauce. Oh my goodness. We've got a chocolate torte with strawberry gel, compressed strawberries and chocolate soil. <laughs> oh my God. And then you've got pretty fours as well and rose marshmallow. Oh my God. I am so excited for this. And it tells you how to reheat everything and how to even cook your steak. I'm so excited for this. Actually can't wait. <gasps> this is going to be so special. Oh, rose petals. You're not coming in. Oh, see me dinner. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I need candles. Wow. Very fancy. Very fancy. What kind of a restaurant is this? Dogs in the kitchen, licking the potatoes. There's a kitchen for her. There's a kitchen pupper. <laughs> Woo! This looks really good, doesn't it? <laughs> His little face. <laughs> the other <part>. <laughs> <laughs> That was absolutely delicious. I have to say, I really enjoyed that. It's been like three, four months since we went out to eat at a restaurant, and we're just such big foodies that I think we were both kind of craving it. So it's really nice. <laughs> Really nice. We had five courses. Should I look on the website? Um, so they deliver in and around the Birmingham area. So if you're around here, then definitely check them out if you fancy like a little treat. Um, but they normally do like three courses for £35 a person. And then they do like special uh, sort of bigger course boxes like the Valentine's Day one. I think they've got a Mother's Day one coming up as well next month. Um, and yeah, it was absolutely lovely. The fillet steak, so good. The chocolate torte for pudding, the smoked salmon, the soup. Oh, it was, it was just really nice. And it was just nice to get dressed up even though I am already back in my pajamas. Um, it was just nice to get all dressed up and have like a little mini date night. It was just, yeah, it was really cute. I very much enjoyed that. Um, and we would definitely do it again, 100%. Both said, really good. You just don't know with these things, do you? You don't know how good it's going to be. You don't know what it's going to be like. Um, but yeah, it was. It was. I highly recommend it. Gets the X meter X stamp of approval. <laughs> we would 100% order that again. Good morning, team. Or is, it, is it still morning? Yeah, just about. <laughs> we had a big lion today. Much needed. Really enjoyed it. We started to watch um, This Is Us last night on Amazon Prime. It's really, really good. It's got us hooked. Um, quite a few people have suggested it, but just hasn't been on my radar. But yeah, really enjoyed that so we stayed up quite late <laughs> watching that after our lovely meal yesterday it's valentine's day today i don't really subscribe to valentine's day i never have done i don't know why i've just always kind of thought it's just a bit of a meh holiday i feel like it makes a lot of people feel bad <laughs> like if you aren't with a person it makes you feel bad um if you are with a person you don't do some kind of grand gesture then you end up feeling bad so it just doesn't really it's not like really my bag if i'm completely honest um so yeah <laughs> it just seems like another day however um we are gonna have a little afternoon tea this afternoon not for valentine's day uh just because we kind of figured we wanted to do something different it was actually before um we realized that we were getting the the meal last night so it's actually turned into a rather delicious weekend um, but it was only meant to be the afternoon tea today i bought it from pretty pot because I just really want to support them as much as I can while it's all closed. I can't wait to go back and paint some pottery and see Sophie and just have a coffee and stuff. Um, and they really have like worked so hard to be adaptable during this time. So I just, I really hope that they're still there when we finish. It looks like they're, they're pretty busy today. Chris has just gone to go and collect the afternoon tea. Um, and their Facebook page suggests that they've got lots and lots of orders, so that's amazing. Um, but yeah, that's what we're going to do this afternoon. I have bought Chris a card, only because um, it, you know, Thoughtful. If you haven't ever seen Thoughtful or bought bought um, a card from Thoughtful, they're hilarious. And it popped up on my Facebook, and I was like, "That's funny. That's a funny card. I'm going to buy it." <laughs> I've literally just scribbled in it this morning because I completely forgot that I had it. Um, but Chris has actually bought me a little gift. It's so funny. We both we were both like, you're not buying me anything, are you? No. Are you? No. Okay. You sure? This isn't a trap. <laughs> so obviously he thought it was a trap. 
It's not a trap, I haven't bought him anything. Um, but he got me a little mug that says, my morning brew, because one of my favorite mugs is this one <laughs> that says, my afternoon cuppa. So they match, I got one for the morning and one for the afternoon now, which is pretty darn cute. And he got me a little face mask, a little biodegradable face mask. It's very cute. You obviously bought them when you popped out to get the shop in. But that is just, that is enough for me. That has done me. That was a really nice surprise. So um, yeah, I'm pleased with that. But I'm, I'm very much look, but I'm very much looking forward to our cake. And I think we've got a bottle of champagne in the fridge that we bought from Aldi. <laughs> just the cheap bottle. But I'm very much looking forward to my cake and my sandwiches and stuff. I'm gonna have to get my afternoon tea set out. I really wanna buy a new teapot actually. Um, I've seen a really nice one from Olivia Bonnet bonus, Olivia Bo Oliver bonus, that's the one. Come on, brain. <laughs> you can tell I'm really posh. I know all these places. Um, but it's a really nice one. It's like a like a green one. It's, it's, it's almost like a Japanese teapot shape, which I fell in love with when we were in Japan, but couldn't like get one back without it breaking. So it's like a Japanese teapot shape with the wooden handle and stuff, but it's a lovely green sort of pot. It's not like the cast iron ones. Um, so yeah, I kind of, I've really, I've been looking at that for a while and I'm thinking, mm, should I buy it? It's like £35. Um, and for the amount that I'd actually use a teapot. But do you know what? I can't wait until we can just have people round for a cup of tea. <gasps> Won't that just be amazing? <laughs> it's got to be coming soon. Please, Boris, please. So I actually might buy a teapot just for when <laughs> we can have people round and like we can do this afternoon tea thing again with other people and have a big pot of tea. Yeah, oh, it's kind of made me sad now thinking about the fact that we can't do that. Oh well. Oh my goodness, look at this afternoon tea. It's perfect. I love it. <laughs> oh, the pancakes. Mm. Uh, what was it called? Oh, it's on that reel. I did a reel on them, didn't I? And then it was linked to the person that created the recipe. I can't remember what they're called. Clever Carrot. Clever ones. Carrot, no, they're yeah. the ones. Yeah, I've searched it before, clearly. So. Oh, I'm excited for them. Yeah, they're mm -mm. good, isn't they? But they're better when they're cold. So you make the recipe and then put, put the thingy in the fridge for an hour. Mm. Good plan. Morning, team. As you can, uh, as you just heard there, we're having pancakes for lunch today it's pancake day tomorrow um but we bought loads of fruit and stuff and because we're only doing the shopping like once a week once every two weeks um the fruit's gonna go off so we're having pancake day today <laughs> we're having our pancakes for lunch probably we'll have some tomorrow as well because there's always um like some batter left over but we use this uh recipe from the clever carrot which is a sourdough discard recipe so if you've been making sourdough and you've got any discard this pancake recipe is a Amazing. I will try and remember to show it down below or I'll pop it in next week's vlog or something. I don't know. But yeah, um, this morning has been good. I'm just about to eat in a custard because it's going out of date, as you can tell. Having a very nutritious day. <laughs> but it's going out of date and I don't want to waste it. Yeah, I had a, had a lovely start to my day. I did um, my therapy session this morning which is going really, really well. Um, it's a new platform for online therapy. So I'm just testing it out for a month to see how we get on because it is their first month after launch. And as with all kinds of things like this, there's a few teething issues, definitely. Um, the whole concept though, and the therapist that I'm matched with and what I'm getting from it is amazing. So it's definitely something that I really want to share with you. I just want to wait and make sure and just see how they sort of um, fix the, the little, it's more like technical difficulties rather than anything else. So yeah, I think they're kind of working on bits and stuff. Um, so yeah, I, basically I will share it with you. It's just, I want to wait, wait and see. Um, I want them to sort of like work out those little teething, teething bits and stuff. But for me, oh, it's, it's amazing. It really is amazing. And it's the perfect way to start your morning for me. It really sets me up for the day, um, especially at the start of a new week. So yeah, I'm loving it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to drink my cup of tea, eat my custard and then uh, shower and <laughs> crack on with my work for the day. I'm going to edit this vlog and I'm also going to edit the Chris chooses my outfit for a week video because that was actually really cute. Loved it. And I hope you guys are going to like it as well. It's just sort of a little idea that I saw and I thought, yeah, we'll make that. That's just a bit of fun. Um, and then I'm working on a big project. 
which I'm excited for, but I'm not gonna say anything just yet because um, it's been in the works for a very, very long time. And um, yeah, it's finally happening. So, oh, I'm really excited. But if, uh, if you don't see much other content from me, it's because I'm working on that project um, and I really feel like I, I need to dedicate myself to that at the moment. And why not when there isn't really much paid work coming in and stuff? I feel like now's the perfect time. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm feeling good, buzzing, excited. But it is that sort of stage in my cycle. If you haven't read that period power book yet, you need to read it. I'll leave a link down below. Because um, it's so true. It sort of like tells you about the different stages of your cycle and how you might be feeling at different stages. And it's spot on for me. Like at this stage, after my period, I feel so creative and motivated that I can just run with stuff. Because I know that by the time we get round to the other end of the cycle, like just before my period, I'll have no motivation whatsoever. Um, and it's all been sort of worsened by lockdown, I've found. But the cycle is still there. So while I've got a little bit of motivation because of my hormones, I am running with it. So, um, yeah, we'll see. Toby is literally just staring at me there because I've got my egg custard. It's not for you, Puppet, I'm afraid. I think he's getting fat. I don't know if he's getting fat or if he's just getting fluffy. <laughs> it looks like a little barrel. Oh dear, I have to put you on a diet. Oh dear. It's all those new treats you've been having. Anyway, I'm gonna go. Sorry if this video has been like super chatty. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And yeah, we'll see you next week. Bye.